Welcome back. Um, I found this anniversary and had to pick it up. It's really nice. It's not really, it's not really um, like store made. You know, it's not really factory made. It looks like someone just welded it together. Pretty cool. It's my style. Um, I'm gonna throw in some solids in here that I picked up from a local a gardening club sale. It was a Lakewood Garden Club over here. They were in Norwalk somewhere. Or I think it was Lakewood. And I picked up some Rip Solis and I didn't I don't really want to put a liner in this. I'm gonna try to see if I could make a liner out of pure sphagnum moss. And I'm gonna see how this will work out. I have a bale right here sitting in water. Sorry about that. Sitting in water soaking. And I'm gonna see how <laughs> how good this is gonna turn out. First of all, this is supposed to be premium sphagnum moss. Well, I guess it's better than the other stuff. This this actually has some nice strands going on. Um, I want it to look like very like hanging down here, and this I still want to keep some of the detail, but I know it's not gonna stay. So. Let's just start doing this. I'm doing this because I want the long strains to kind of hang downwards. But at the same time, I could just, you know, get this stuff and smash it into a, a ball right there and it'll hold. So let's see how long, how much of the moss I'm going to have to put when I really don't want is to put a screen or a basket or anything out there. Let's see how this works out for me. Seems that squeezing the water out works a lot better than having it wet and dripping everywhere. So this is somewhat done. It's time to do the side. Okay, so this turned out to be a utter fail. It just keeps falling apart. So I'm gonna, so I'm going to just wrap it up with the bonsai wire. And the bottom's fine. It's just this stuff, you know, the, the gaps are way too large. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this stuff back in. So for what I did is just go around it, the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just, I feel, all right, just keep at it. And with the big ball of it, the wire, I'm just gonna start going through each one of these gaps a little bit and just keep twisting it upwards. So I fill out all of these huge gaps that there are in this basket. Let's see. Very simple, just keep going. Tighten it a little bit. Notice this thing's not perfect. There are gaps and the bars are uneven. My OCD is killing me right now, but <laughs> still nice, I guess. It's just not perfect. But who needs perfection when gardening, right? So I'll just do this. And 
should be enough. My rusty wire cutters. And let's see if this will hold. You could always get a coconut fiber and <laughs> throw any in here. I just like doing stuff the hard way. Well, that's how you learn. That's how you learn, right? You learn from our mistakes. And this, this hobby, you make a lot of mistakes. You buy the wrong soil, you buy the wrong plant. Use the wrong technique, you water the wrong way. It's all good. Even though you might think nature is perfect, it's not. The gas is just way too big. Need more wire. I'm gonna tie them from the bottom wire to this top loop right here. I don't know if you guys saw that. Yeah, you guys did. So, cut a piece. Bring it down, twist it up. Main reason I wanted to do this with just sphagnum mosses. I want other types of ripsalis to hang out from the bottom. And I seen that at my buddy's house, he did that. And I just said, wow, I want a basket like that. Although I'm not sure how he did his. His are also lined with just um, sphagnum moss. I really don't know how he did it. Um, I don't know if he bought them that way or not. Okay, so there you have it. This one looks good. I thought it wasn't going to look good, but I'll just smash everything on the sides. And keep going. I've seen some other videos of people doing this, and they lay it down. The thing is that I don't... I think it's, it's, it's messier making a bunch of tools and jigs for it. They lay it down and then put like a cone in the middle or a basket to hold the other side up. Yeah. Why put so much effort into something that should be so simple? Even though I just like Spider-Man this stuff, right? It's okay. I'm not trying to make a really thin basket of sphagnum moss. I, I know that I'm probably gonna use the second bill in this because I'm running out just with the liner. Um, I'm only going to have a tiny bit of soil in there, so I'm going to throw two little plants and the plants could always um, root themselves into the sphagnum moss if it's not enough media, so I'm not really worried about that either. So I had to grab a second brick. This is, this is the brand that I'm using, Better Grow, and um, it has great reviews on the orchid boards and across Amazon. And I know orchid people are crazy picky about their soils. Squeeze all the air out. And that's it. Good to go. Saw that? Cinchy, right? bag feels better than the first bag maybe 
because it's not soaking that much water. Oh, I see some holes. In different area codes. Okay, now that it's pretty much lined up the way I want it to look from the outside, I'm going to thicken it in from the inside. And just, I wouldn't want the soil to eventually start coming out and the basket's gonna, the basket's gonna erode no matter what. But, so let's try to prevent that. I'm gonna thicken it a little bit. Some parts I'm just not gonna be able to have moss. Like right here, it's been falling out. That's fine. Imperfections give everything character. Sprinkle some moss. I think it's, I have about two, two inches, a layer of two inches of moss. And I, I should line up the bottom a little bit more with moss as well. Gonna fluff it up. This is what it looks like from the outside. I don't want to tip it over, and I don't want to move the camera right now. I am I am that lazy today. It's Sunday. So I don't feel good. So here he is, monster. Man, this guy's heavy too. I'm gonna bring up some potting soil. Here I have some potting soil mix about four cups of potting soil mixed in with two cups of perlite I like the thick chunky perlite it lasts to me it feels like it lasts longer after using them on my tomatoes and everything my chili plants I've noticed that it's they're just still a good sized granule after a year or more which is like the, the cheap miracle girl stuff you find at the stores after a season, say a summer, they're all deteriorated and all just, it's gone. It's just all gone. So, there it is. Where are my plants? Well, here are these two ripsalis I'm about to plant. They're um very beat up, but, um, I got them very sun damaged and it looked like they were putting other potted plants on top of them. So since I've had them about a week now, they've had all of this new healthy growth going on. Look at this guy. I don't know. I don't know what I did to this guy. But let's go ahead and plant them. I kind of want them draping out. And since I don't have a... I should plant something else in here then. All right, I want to go grab another Ripsalis. I just found it on the floor right now. I know, I know, but um, it, it, it's, it's not dead. You know, this is that little, I don't know if they call it rat's tail. There's, there's like 10 different rat's tails. Um, to me, they're all Ripsalis or um, different kinds. Well, let's just go ahead and start. I'm gonna let them hang out a little bit. So I believe, well, I was told they are different colors. I don't know if I should believe it or not, but whatever. Just lay that guy down right there. Oh, I see some rotted roots. Lay this guy down right hither. Should I touch this? Am I supposed to? Bug life. Whoa. I'll just leave this guy right meow. <laughs> the soil these ladies use. Oh, I'm gonna need more soil. Normally I would have bare root planted them, but I like the direction they're going. The roots look kind of healthy, except for that guy. That guy is pretty beat up. 
I, I honestly don't know how long they've had him. He's just been in the one of the grow trades, you know. I just I bring home a flat of plants and set it and forget it. I'm not proud to say that, but I know I'm not the only one that does that. This soil is mega dry. I'm gonna let it sit down. A tray of water in a bit. Just grab these guys and push them down. I don't know why I'm scared to touch that guy. You know, there's, there's a lot of gap in the insides. I wonder if I should plant something else. Be right back. Okay, after much thought, lining the basket with moss and having ripsaws is kind of a bad idea since um, the ripsaws kind of like to have an almost dry period. And I don't know if the moss is going to let me do that. But since they're not in a container, I'm pretty sure the soil will dry out in between waterings. So that said, I am not sure if I want to throw a fern in there. You know, I can have this little guy. This guy grows really fast. I have one of these inside of the house. Or if I should throw this front in there, I really like this guy. And it's big and it could also, right now the soil is completely dry. It could also take the same conditions of the Ripsalis plants. You know what, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let me just water this guy down. Make a little divot here. I usually wear gloves, but it's Sunday and I'm lazy. I don't know if I said that already. Lazy. Beautiful. I love these birds. Smash it in there. And I'm pretty much done. Ah, I hate the way that guy feels. All right. I'm gonna give it a water down. All right, so this guy's watered, and to me it looks great. Oh, it's really heavy, and um, I can't wait to see it growing under my tree. I'm gonna go ahead and hang it under my tree. Um, I'll probably do an update video like in a month or so. Also wanted to show you guys this guy. Step aside. This guy. Oh man, I can't believe I found this. I did not know this existed. This is. Hoodia. Do I have my other hoodias here? No. Let me bring them. Right. Like I was showing you guys, this is Hoodia Gordini Crested. I have never seen one before. And um, I have the regular Hoodia Gordini. And these plants were about a year old. And I thought I was gonna, going to lose them in the winter because it rained and I had it in the middle of the sun. I really didn't take care of them. You can see where the rain was just beating down on the soil and they turned like this ugly gray color. Very ugly gray color, but there's new growth, well, new growth in there. I'll open it up. Oh, sorry about the sunlight, but yeah, there's new growth in both of these plants. I don't know if you could uh, see the, this is so awkward. Anyways, yeah, man, they're incredibly happy. I was. I was bummed out. I thought this guy was a goner. This is one of my favorite plants. And here is the crested variety of it. You know, it's it's beautiful. And I could tell that sometimes the crested forms, they'll form like a, a, a little nub of the non-crested stuff and the growers cut it off. But I love this guy. I'm, well, I'm very happy with this, even though it fell like five times in the car while I was driving home and all the little gravel's gone. But this guy's really hardy. Um, it can't handle a frost. Like if um, it rains and it gets really cold, or if the roots are um, wet, and um, if the roots are really wet and it's a cold night, it will die on you. And I thought for sure this guy was gonna be a goner. I should have taken better care of it. Also, an interesting thing is when it has this new growth, the spines are very soft. But I guess when it went dormant, the spines turn into real spines. I don't touch this guy anymore before I used to you know, love feeding it was rubbery and weird. But um 
this guy also gives some really nice um not so starfish like blooms more like a more like a excuse me the blooms are more like a, a pillow starfish i don't know i don't know how to describe it to people that don't know um reef stuff but um it's beautiful and it's also used in a dietary supplement but don't ask me how or don't ask me why i don't know but people eat it i don't know how so don't eat it um it's probably not good for you i don't know but i love this guy i'm very happy i gotta go find a nice pot to put this guy in because he is like a showpiece to me all right, I guess that's it. Um, I'm going to go hang this up, and I'm going to go put this guy back, and I'm going to go look for a pot for this guy. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And um, thanks for watching. Subscribe. And, yeah, keep watching. Thanks.